Touchdown! Go Cleveland! Matsumoto back to throw. He's in trouble again! This is insanity from Jordan Gray! Breaks out of it. Still going, Johnny English! And English will score! Oh, man! It's an exciting night in Minneapolis! where the Minneapolis Maulers open up their home schedule in front of their new hometown fans. The Maulers host the defending SFL champions, the New York Knights from Wolfram and Hart Stadium or Coliseum tonight. As we are about to get Sunday Night Football on the SFL Network underway, I'm your play-by-play -play commentator, Cameron Irvine. The New York Knights, last year's best team, the two-time SFL champions come to town as Minneapolis looks to prove they were more than just a one-week anomaly on the offensive side of the ball as they go up against DJ McCoo, Isaac Holt and company. Let's head down to the field for the coin toss for tonight's game. You guys ready? Let's do this. So here we go from Minneapolis. Left-footed kickers got the football down on the tee, and we're underway. From the nine, New York on the return, up past the 25 to the 30, and that's where they will start their first possession. Please let me know if you're hearing an echo. I'm not hearing anything on my end. All right, just must be Eric Barkley. Use your error. Get it together. First and 10 of the 30, New York's going to start with the football. Three wide receivers and he Scholl in the backfield. And St. Clair will start the preseason for New York off of the pass that's caught in traffic for a first down. Shoved out of bounds at the 40-yard line was Jake Legacy. It is cold here in Minneapolis tonight. 12 degrees, no snow, very overcast skies. A little bit colder than it was in Green Bay and New England this weekend. First down after the throw to Legacy. And out of the backfield, he Chol takes a carry, makes a man miss, and Jeb Gatlin comes down with the stop. Four-yard pickup brings up second down and six for the New York Knights. Minneapolis owned San Francisco in week one of the preseason slate and are here at home for the first time. The yellow home helmets with the red jerseys, yellow pants with the yellow numbers and black and white trim. Second down, and this is going to be a pass to Heachol, his second reception of the game. First down, pass midfield to the Minneapolis 49, and the New York Knights are off to a strong start offensively. New York in the, in the road, gold helmets, without the decals, white jerseys, gold pants, red numbers, gold and black trim. And it's a first down for New York in Minneapolis territory here on the opening drive of tonight's game. Two receivers, St. Clair time to throw until he's sacked, a loss of two. New York's gonna run some no huddle here. We saw this from this team last season a little bit. St. Clair gonna dump it off the heat show in the open field and an excellent job forcing him out of bounds. They're gonna stay no huddle anyway. Third down and 11 from the 50. Set. 
Two receivers, one back in the backfield, and offside on Minneapolis. Free play, another swing out to Heach. Oh, he is going to be wrapped up, so this is going to be a big benefit to the New York Knights as it's going to bring up third down and about six. Neutral zone infraction, number 95, defense, dog yard penalty, repeat, third down. Crowd doesn't like the call. Minneapolis obviously offside. Third down, six yards to go now from the Mahler 45-yard line. Looking for a big defensive stop on their opening possession. They did not allow a passing touchdown last week. Just one long run to the rookie Tuyasa Sopo. This is a run at the middle, and it's whacked in the backfield. Back at the 47-yard line by Bradford Unsicker. A loss of two yards on the play, and it's fourth down. A nice stall out. Excellent pursuit in the backfield by Minnesota's defense. This is a beautiful stadium that the Mahler organization and owner Thomas Paternitti constructed as this punt goes inside the 10 and will bounce at the one and bounce backwards to the two yard line. Now that is a nice kick. That's about as good a punt as you can have. And the Maulers will start from deep in their own territory. Their opening possession of this game with Rocco Marconi, number five, who threw six touchdown passes under center. With a man in the backfield, Marconi will throw, and that pass is out of bounds. Incomplete. Donald Miller, the intended receiver. Miller playing against his former team tonight. Still wearing number 84 here in Minneapolis. The Minnesota offense so lethal last week. Over 600 yards of total offense against that Bulldog D. Donald Miller, Ayanojo Abaratsubo, James Cooley, and Marcus Campbell are the star receivers slash tight ends on this offense to go along with Marconi. And Marconi is going to throw from the pocket. Pass is caught. Gain of seven to the nine-yard line. Brings up third down and three. Abaratsubo on that last catch. He wears number 11. Cooley wears 19. Campbell 42. Miller 84. Third down, three to go on the Mahler's opening possession. Two in the backfield, Marconi back to throw. Short pass, nearly knocked away, well, was knocked away and nearly taken the other way. Pass intended for Marcus Campbell in Minneapolis goes three and out on their first possession, which might not have happened at all last week. T-Pat, football dude 93, Servo Sentinels, prospective owner, A.J. Caswell, New York Knights, and X-Factor 56. Welcome into the chat room here in the first quarter. You, you notice this stadium is very dark. Uh, they, they do the whole L.A. Lakers theater lighting around here, it would appear. Uh, it's, a, it's a great environment as New York from the 39 is going to have excellent field position up to the Mahler 37-yard line. And it's first down with a short field for New York. And if you're a Mahler fan sitting at home, uh, missing the home opener as you take a look at the beast in the end zone, you can catch the Mahler's next home game, Super Bowl Sunday at 1.30 p.m. Central. An epic football doubleheader as the CAG Bowl has its first edition of that rivalry. Coming up Sunday, February 1st, get your tickets at the Mahler box office. That pass is caught out of bounds after a gain of eight yards. And it brings up second down and two for New York. That's Ross Polly Dixon with the catch. Second down in scoring position for Minneapolis. St. 
Claire back to throw. This is going to be he Scholes, third or fourth reception, makes a man miss in the open field. He does that better than anybody in the league, and New York has really controlled this first quarter thus far with he Chol in the passing game. Haven't seen a lot of running out of the Knights. First and ten from the 23. Three wide receivers. Now it's a draw, and he Chol only picked up one yard. Another great run stop by Bradford Unsicker, who's had a solid quarter matched up against Park in the middle of the field. Second down, nine yards. You know, they say the best seats in this stadium are next to the big beast and all that fire, especially on a cold night like tonight. 8.08 to play first quarter, second and nine from the Mauler, 22. As St. Clair hands it off to Hicho, he's got running room up the middle and just shy of a first down to the Minneapolis 14. Third down and one as we take another look at Hicho's run. A lot of fans were told at the beginning of the game that uh, this stadium will erupt on Mauler touchdowns, so the fans eager to hear and see what that's all about. Third down and short, an exciting night here in the Maulers. First home game as an SFL franchise. Bright future ahead of this team and a great tackle made in the backfield. A loss of four on each hole. Walker came up to make the play and forced the fourth down. And Minneapolis' run defense has been exceptional here in the opening quarter and they hold New York to a field goal. This will be from 34 yards out on the right hash mark. And the Knights kick nearly knocked away is good with 6.56 to go in the third quarter. It's New York 3, Minneapolis nothing. You're listening to the inaugural Minneapolis Maulers broadcast on 97.9 KMAL, or KMAL. As New York kicks it away. tell if New York and Honolulu's DC are just messing with the Mahler owner or if they're being completely serious. My bet is on uh, the form. First and 10 at the Mahler 29, second possession for Minneapolis as Marconi drops to throw. That pass is caught to the outside. Abrazzo gets the Mahler first down for the first time in this game. And Ayanojo Abaratsubo off to a great start. First down and 10 from the 40, halfway through the quarter. Knights up 3 0. Five wide receivers empty backfield for Marconi. A 4-3 look for New York's defense. Marconi to throw, and that pass is caught by Cooley right ahead of the sticks. His first catch of the night, and the Maulers are on the move. Minneapolis loves to throw the football, and Marconi is in a rhythm right now. Back to throw again. That pass out of bounds. I jinxed him. I've been doing that a lot lately, second and ten.
It's getting closer to the league's unveiling of the fantasy football and play to win challenges. Tutorial on the video to be released later, or tutorial on how to play will be released later this week along with the official week one selections. Gain of three on that pass. Marconi to Abaratsubo, third down, seven. Solid start for the New York Knights. They have not come in here looking rusty whatsoever. Three wide receiver set, two in the backfield. A 3-3-5 defensive look. Marconi to throw, pass is caught. Inside the 30 to the 31, Donald Miller, first and 10. Miller's second grab of the quarter. Marconi looking sharp on his second drive. James Cooley with a grab, Abaratsvo with a few, Miller with a couple. Campbell, the only one that has not gotten involved so far, had a target on third down, couldn't come up with it. Marconi's throw, short caught Miller. Gain of six to the 24, and slowly but surely, Minneapolis working their way down the field. To the delight of the hometown fans. By the way, guys, I... Uh, Put the crowd volume up and lowered my mic a little bit tonight. Let me know if it sounds better. Listening back to broadcast, crowd sounded a little faint and I sounded a little loud. I'm already loud enough. Second and four. Handoff is a loss of four yards. And I'm surprised we saw a run there. Brings up third and eight. From the 29-yard line. Five wide receiver set. Out of the shotgun for Marconi back to throw. Marconi's pass over the middle. Caught. Got the first down. Past the 20. Knights could not get the Maulers off the field. And it's Taylor coming up with the grab. as the clock just continues to move. One receiver now, and a handoff around the left-hand side. Gains five yards to the 15. Second down and five from the 15-yard line. After the five-yard run, I formation, three wide receivers. Cooley bottom of the screen, guarded by Holt. Marconi back to throw. He's going to go down the middle, deep in the back of the end zone. Touchdown, Minneapolis. There's a penalty at the end, but it's going to be a Mahler score. Touchdown, Marconi into the back of the end zone. A beautiful ball. Extra point for Minneapolis is good and a very solid second drive for the Maulers. Gets them on the scoreboard now up by four. The state of emergency siren.
Rings loud and clear as Marconi gets his first touchdown pass of the night, the seventh of the preseason. New York will start from their 31, pretty decent field position. There you look at the beast. We need uh, some official data on how long that took to construct and what it's made of and all that good stuff. That thing is a piece of artwork as he Chol gets it on a stretch play, left-hand side, going to bounce it outside. That's where he Chol's the most dangerous, a pickup of 18 yards. Now 23 yards on five carries, but that was by far he Chol's best run of the first quarter. First and 10 from the Mahler, 49. New York has, has moved the football pretty well here in the first quarter against the Minneapolis defense. They're showing a 4-3 formation. I formation for St. Clair with Nathan Chambers, who's had a quiet first quarter at the bottom of the screen. And it's going to be Chambers on the catch, and he's going to step out of bounds at the Mahler 43-yard line after a gain of six. Chambers is uh, an interesting story. He was actually out of the league contemplating retirement before the New York Knights called and said, we want you to come in and be our number one alongside Jake Legacy. And Chambers jumped at the opportunity at a terrific rookie season with Orlando before he was cast aside in favor of Lorenzo Allen, which has worked out well for the Intimidators. Back to throw, he chole all by himself, first down and more, but a nice open field tackle. Only a seven yard gain, that's Mike Sudolovich making the stop for the Maulers. And it's another first down New York as that swing pass out to he chole more deadly than ever. In the first couple of seasons, didn't see a lot of running backs recording catches. But Parkey Chol has redefined that part of the game and in fantasy football this year is going to be a popular choice. Two backs and two receivers for St. Clair. Minneapolis backing off and showing a different look. St. Clair against a four-man rush. Hit as he threw. Pass caught. Legacy picks up four before deciding to trot out of bounds at the 32. Five receptions on five targets, 25 yards tonight for He Chol, just as damaging in the rushing game as he is in the passing game. Brock Studwell, their gold star tight end, quiet so far. St. Clair is buried back at the 38-yard line. Second time St. Clair has been dropped in the quarter as Fisher comes away with a big play. And that's huge because it puts... New York out of field goal range as the first quarter winds down. They need the 26-yard line for a first down. Legacy in chambers, the receivers, Heat Show in the backfield. West St. Clair, three-step drop, just going to dump it off short, wants Heat Show to do the rest. He cannot do more than three yards. Jeb Gatlin in the vicinity, it's going to be fourth and nine. And I believe the New York Knights are going to have to punt it away outside of field goal range. That is the end of the first quarter of play. From Minneapolis, we'll be right back. This is 97.9 KMAL. Mahler's up by four. It was the night before, as the people of this little Belgian town waited for the crowning moment. Nature had other plans. But with the help of the masters of the Artois Brewery, 
a new star was born. Stella Artois, originally brewed as a beautiful holiday gift for the people of Leuven, Belgium. For those who demand more, Optimum Nutrition's new pro series of superior quality sports nutrition products offers goal-driven individuals exactly what they're after. More quality proteins, more essential amino acids, more proven nutrients to support impressive muscle size and strength gains with less sugar, fat, and everything else you make a point of avoiding. Pro Gainer is a high protein formula delivering calories that count during recovery. Each shake provides 60 grams of supplemental protein, 85 grams of carbs, as well as 24 vitamins and minerals to build on the amount you're getting through Whole Foods. Pro BCAA serves up 8 grams of the brand's chain amino acids leucine, isoleucine, and valine in a 2-1-1 ratio. We also included 5 grams of glutamine in the mix because this conditionally essential amino acid helps support recovery after intense exercise. Pro Complex supports muscle size and strength gains in a very big way. This stack of 60 grams of superior quality proteins along with naturally occurring and added BCAAs and glutamine holds absolutely nothing back, just like your approach to moving weight. Optimum Nutrition's Pro Series brings it all to your shaker cup in potencies you can depend on to fuel recovery from intense training, no matter how big you are or want to be. Train hard, recover better with the Optimum Nutrition Pro Series. Landed Rockstar Parking, got fueled up, raided the rack, wrestled some hangers, perfected a pie, had a crush on a bag. Tried on jeans, 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 jeans. Gained five pounds, got baby fever, got touched up, got prim and proper. Passed on the right, met a girl's best friend, learned something, made something, tried something. Shoes, shoes, scarves, shades, more shoes, scream, scream some more. Like, met some guys, ditched some guys, laughed it off, found a great booth, and recapped the best day ever. Mall of America. Always new. Minneapolis football on 97.9 KMAL is brought to you by Costco Wholesale. By Black Sheep Cold Fried Pizza, the official watch party location of your Minneapolis ballers. By Nike, just do it. And by Delta Airlines. Start of the second quarter here from Minneapolis. New York is punting and for the second time tonight will pin the Maulers inside their own four-yard line. And let's take a look at the first quarter stats. As we take a look at the replay of that punt. 78 total yards for the Maulers. Actually got outgained by the Knights in that first half, 81, or in that first quarter, 81 to 78. The Knights, however, 0 for 3 on third down. That has been their Achilles heel so far in a close battle here in Minnesota. First and 10 from the 4, and Marconi is going to drop the throw. Pass is caught. Nearly went for a touchdown as James Cooley gives Marconi his 94th passing yard tonight. An excellent throw. Could have been a little bit more on point, but Cooley makes it happen. First and 10 now at the 20. Four wide receivers, three to the left. Marconi back to pass. Marconi's pass is caught again. Gain of 12. That is Cooley again. His third grab of the first half and another Mahler first down. This stadium scoreboard, very Baltimore Ravens-esque, being in between the first and second levels. Knights three, Maulers seven. Marconi has three receivers and one back in the backfield, and he will drop to throw. That pass is caught, and that's another first down. Miller sheds a tackler up to the 47-yard line, a gain of 15, and another Mahler first down.
Maulers. Just so many weapons. Marconi tonight, 120 yards and a touchdown. Rating not perfect, but he's getting there. Four wide receiver set empty backfield. Marconi back to throw. Deep ball wide open. Caught inside the 30 to the night 29. James Cooley again. Cooley's getting hot on the second possession. And it's another Mahler first down. Jesus Salvador and Isaac Holt combined for the stop. Salvador, a rookie, free safety. They moved Holt back to corner. Silva still at strong safety. And Isaac Wallace, who was on this team last year, let go. First and 10 of the night, 29. Three wide receivers. Seven in the box for the Knights. They will rush only three. And a check down for Marconi is complete for a five-yard gain. That is Chambers. Second and five. Receiver set. Marconi again over the middle. Pass caught. He is just shy of the first down. That's Abarazzabo. Third down and one. And while the Maulers are a pass heavy team, they do run a little clock. They're not all just bombs down the field. No, Wallace is not. I don't believe he got signed. They might want him in Cleveland, maybe even Orlando as well. Orlando secondary struggled a bit this week. Running play, and he did not get the first down. That was Chambers on the run, and D.J. McCoo comes over to flatten him. So Minneapolis will have to settle for a field goal. Or not. Rocco Marconi is still out there. Two in the backfield with Cooley at the bottom of the screen. 15 on the play clock. They might just be trying to hard count the Knights. That's what it looks like. Down to eight on the play clock. Five, four, three. Knights had already jumped once. And the Maulers will take a timeout and bring on the field goal crew. Still fourth down. Head coach Jim Ryan making that decision. So from 36 yards away, the Maulers will try to increase their lead by seven. Ryan Hashmark with the left-footed kicker, nearly blocked. Got a surge, but it is dead through. And it is New York three, Maulers 10 off the leg of Stephen Griffin. That one actually way over to the right-hand side. Nearly pulled it right. A make is a make. And the New York defense breathing a sigh of relief that they were able to get the Maulers off the field. A, another long drive for Minneapolis. From the 10, Knights on the return. And a spin move will take them to the 29. That's a generous spot. Tomorrow, before the national championship game between Ohio State and Oregon, another Ohio team will be out to prove themselves. The Cleveland Vipers have their first home game in the SFL in Cleveland era as they host the San Francisco Bulldogs. That is a 5 p.m. Central, 6 p.m. Eastern kickoff time. And then the national championship where we will finally see a champion. 100% deserving as that pass is caught and then stepping out of bounds was legacy after a four-yard pickup. I don't think legacy really knew where he was on the field. Legacy is a legend in this league. 
He leads the league in receiving touchdowns and receiving yards, although in the past years, James Cooley and Freeman Goodspeed have caught up. I would imagine James Cooley would surpass him this season. Rock Studwell still no catches in the first half. They handed off the heat shell up the middle. And that doesn't do much of anything as the run defense from Bradford Unsicker has made a big difference in this first half for Minnesota. Unsicker has really played a great game. Oh, Joel Lynn's depressed because the Cowboys lost. Oh, oh that's so sad. I don't know how I'm going to get through it as he, Joel, picks up two. And that is a fourth down. Another big stop by this run defense, which now has he, Joel, averaging less than four yards a carry. Oh, I okay. I Sorry, I thought I just wanted to take the... Um, Prospective owner, he's he's pretty uh, he's pretty upset. High snap. Nice field to cleanly punt it away. This one is not going to land inside the five. From the 30, Koma Kaleka on the return, the only return specialist in the league this year. And it'll be first down from the 34 for the Maulers, looking to step on the throat of New York here in the first half. Oh, that's right, uh, Lynn. You had the other crappy team from today. My mistake. First and 10 from the 34. Five wide receivers. Marconi back to throw. Marconi deep ball down the field. Knocked away. And for the first time tonight, Isaac Holt wins a battle on James Cooley. Excellent coverage down the field. They were going for the home run ball straight out of the gate. And uh, Holt was there and ready if he would have missed that. Uh, Cooley would have walked in the end zone and Marconi might think about looking at that route again later this evening. Second and 10 at the 34. Marconi back to pass. And he had to wait for the play to develop, but Alvarazzo eventually cut across the middle. An uh, eight yard gain and it's gonna be third and short. Abarazzabo has really made a home here in Minneapolis this preseason. He looks rejuvenated after a tough situation in Oklahoma City last year kept him out of the spotlight. Marconi back to throw against the blitz. Pass caught and running past midfield is Marcus Campbell who is a savvy vet of this franchise. First down into New York territory at the 47. This is a really well-run route. Say that five times fast as Green pushed him nearly out of bounds. First and 10 of the 47-yard line. Three wide receivers for Minneapolis. Two in the backfield. Marconi's pass caught and quickly tackled to the open field was Zabarazzabo, Bobby Law there to make the stop. Law and McCoo have been a tag team now going on three seasons in New York. Really the teeth of this defense. Four wide receivers now, three to the top of the screen, all lined off the line. Marconi standing it right at the 50, and he goes down the middle, and that pass is knocked down. That was DJ McCoo, who's going for a more menacing look this year. No gain, brings up third and seven. Mauler's up by just a touchdown after last week. That seems like not much at all. Receiver set, two backs in the backfield. A 4-2-5 defense. 
Five on the play clock. Marconi's got to get it off. He does. Marconi to pass. And he throws it short, but way short of the markers. Abaransabo makes the catch, but it's going to bring up fourth down and seven, and the night defense gets off the field. Marconi now 175 passing yards in the first half. Mallers punt inside the 10, down to the 3, to the 2, sliding to make the play and into the end zone. And Minneapolis' special teams may need to learn from the Knights as they lost about 18 yards of field position with that play. Five twenty-three to go in the first half. First and ten at the twenty for New York. Three wide receivers and a running back in the backfield. That's He Chol. Ten on the play clock. And St. Clair drops to throw under a hundred passing yards in the first half, and that one is incomplete. I was going to say, if that pass would have been caught, I would have been really surprised. Three Maulers in the area, and it brings up second and ten. Make sure if you haven't already to follow the Twitch channel, like the league on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, subscribe to our YouTube channels, full game replays in high definition as Parkey Chul takes the handoff and picks up five. Knights are going to go no huddle here, trailing by seven. On a third down and five yards to go, it's going to be a handoff up the middle, and this time E. Chul finds some space. Parkey Chol has not had a lot of rushing room up the middle tonight. And that works out as St. Clair is going to throw it to him now. Past the 35. And a nice tackle in the open field. Only a five-yard gain. Second down and five. That was a bloodthirsty tackle. He Chol once again going to line up to the right of St. Clair. And He Chol's going to break a tackle. Spin off another look. And He Chol turning the tiny legs to the 45. Mark E. Chol having himself a drive here as St. Clair's in trouble. And down he goes. Back at the 39-yard line. Minneapolis's defense fighting back. 4.15 to go in the first half. New York will stay with the no huddle. They'll swing it out to the Heat Show, and he has run out of bounds. Only a gain of two. Third down and 14. It's still unclear why a couple of teams in the league go with no huddle. down and 14 at the 41 yard line crowd on their feet enjoying what they've seen so far out of their team this is a swing out to each show he's got a blocker in front but he didn't wait for him and he lost a yard don't think it would have mattered a tremendous defensive effort in the first half by the Maulers and it's going to be another night punt and the story of this first half for the New York offense is that they have just not been able to capitalize in between the 40s as New York will kick it away. From the 22, Minneapolis' is Kaleka up to the 26. 3.15 remains in the quarter. Coming up, Dan and Peter will have your first half highlight stats and analysis from the SFL Studios in San Antonio, Texas. An interesting first half here in Minnesota. Lots of completions for Marconi, but not necessarily anything deep down the field. The one touchdown to Donald Miller on a out and in to the back of the end zone. Marconi's pass down the middle, caught at the 39. That is Miller's fifth grab of the game for 62 yards, and it's good enough for another Mahler first down. 
Donald Miller has been really good tonight against his former team, Salvador. Had an outstretched hand and couldn't get to the football. First and 10 of the Mauler 39 yard line. Cooley is at the top of the screen with two backs in the backfield. And eight are in the box. They're going to hand it off and it's going to pick up only two to bring up a second and eight. Again, two in the backfield and Cooley at the top of the screen. And again, the Maulers will hand it off. And this is a bigger gain, a six-yard pickup. Minneapolis playing a little keep away right now with the New York Knights as we are winding down to the two-minute warning. And we have hit it. Let's pause 10 seconds for station identification. Turn it on and you're in beast mode. This is Mahler Football 97.9 k -Mall. They're down and two at the 46. Three wide receivers and an eye formation look. New York showing an outside blitz. They back off and rush four. And Marconi's pass narrowly intercepted. There's a flag in the secondary. McCoo was in coverage, and I think they might have gotten him for P.I. Pass interference. Number 54. And once again, the Knights defense can't get off the field on third down. A big penalty on D.J. McCoo is going to move the chains. A spot foul to the New York 48. Crowd golf claps in approval. First down and 10 for the Maulers, up 10 to 3. Four wide receivers set, three to the top of the screen. Blitz showing inside, they back off again and only rush four. That pass is caught by Wyatt Open Cooley inside the 20 and down to the nine yard line. 102 yards on five grabs for Cooley. First and goal, Minneapolis. Miller, Cooley, and I believe Abarazzo now all with five catches here in the first half. First and goal at the nine-yard line. A big pass interference penalty on McCoo. Set that up. Marconi back to pass against him. Blake Blitz. Pass is caught. A spin move by Cooley. Gets the Muller touchdown. What a pass. What a drive by the Maulers taking advantage of the penalty. And Cooley's got six grabs in the first half. Extra point attempt is good for the Maulers. 119 remains in the first half, and Minneapolis has increased their lead to 14. Knights have some work to do before both teams head into the locker room. From the nine yard line, Knights on the return. And it's past the 30, past the 40, to the 42. A big time return there for New York. That sets them up in good field position as Charles Figura with the return. And there was just nobody on the right hand side of the field. And for Charles, switches hands like a good ball carrier. And. Picks up a nice game. Can the New York Knights do something with it? 
is the question. Parkey Joel, an active first half. Got the running game going a little bit more in that second quarter. Chambers at the top of the screen, I formation. It's going to be a heat Joel pass, past the 45 midfield, or actually, no, he didn't reach it. That was an excellent tackle by the Mahler defense. Gain of only four, going no huddle. Knights have all three timeouts. New York is not set. Kaleka is rushing to get set, and St. Clair back to throw, in trouble, and goes down again. St. Clair's timer just not working here in the first half. He's been sacked three times. This time, Doug Garner gets him. You got to know when to throw that football and get it out of your hands. And that Mahler defensive front has had a great first half. Third down and 10 at the night 43. Two backs and two receivers. St. Clair three-step drop, fires outside, and the momentum carries Legacy out of bounds. Fourth down, New York, and it's an even worse scenario here for the Knights because they're going to give the ball back to Minneapolis with 45 seconds left and a couple of timeouts. Horrible clock management there by for, by New York in this last couple of minutes has turned into a nightmare. New York kicks it away from the 18. Minneapolis up to the 22 yard line. 38 seconds on the clock, two timeouts. Minneapolis has proven that these weapons can be absolutely deadly pretty quickly. New York better be careful here. Or they're going to hear that siren one more time in the next 39 seconds. Two in the backfield with a receiver. Marconi is going to hand it off. That's a bit bizarre. I'm a little shocked as the Maulers seem content with heading into the locker room. and taking a 14-point lead with them. We'll see if they snap it again. They don't have to. Down to 21 on the play clock, 16 on the game clock. Three wide receivers, two backs in the backfield. And they will snap it again. Marconi back to throw. Sidearm pass. The pass is caught. Down to two seconds to go. And that is the end of the first half. Dan and Peter back in the SFL studios. Mahlers have a 14-point halftime lead. First down. And that'll do it for the first half of this one. The Maulers enjoying the lead 17-3. Well, Dan, what do you say? You ready to dive into the 2K Sports Halftime Show? A look at our halftime stats here. And boy, look at the difference in passing yards. The Maulers are winning because of it. Let's see if they can keep up their dominance in the second half. Here we go. We'll pick up the action midway through the first quarter. After driving 19 yards on five plays, Brown would come on and connect on the field goal try. A 35-yard field goal. The Knights strike first and go up by three. The Maulers end of the first quarter all at the one-yard line. Number five would find his target on this one. A 13-yard play that set up a home team touchdown. I'm out of control. Towards the end of the first quarter, the Knights behind by four. Number 33 would get the carry here. Good blocking up front, and it helped to spring him. The Maulers, now in the second quarter, number five would drop back and deliver a strike on this one. That set up a 37-yard field goal. The Maulers winning 10 to three. Number 19 had to work to find an opening, but he was able to haul this one in. A 38-yard play that set up a home team touchdown. 
And that's where we'll have to leave this one. The Maulers are up big at the half, 17 to 3. All right, good work, partner. The Maulers get the ball first this half, and another score by them could really open up this game. They currently lead 17 to 3. Now, let's get to the game. Halftime here in Minneapolis. The Maulers have a 17 to 3 lead. We'll be back to the Maulers' first preseason game at home after this message. The Polar Vortex. Snow Mageddon. Snow Tastrophe. Running out of names tonight. We ask the question is winter out to get us? Then we probably answer it. The effects of the cold are well documented. Just look back at history. Ancient man went extinct during the Ice Age. First, the brain stops functioning properly. Next, the extremities lose all feeling and start to spasm. Your limbs may freeze and fall off. These were gathered in the field. Be careful handling them. You might catch it. It is a problem with no solution. Do these people look happy? This is ridiculous. Up. A short word. That's a tall order. Stand up. Get up. Step up. Up demands that you rise to the challenge. Up your game. Up the ante. And if you stumble, you get back up. Then raise yourself higher than before. It's not easy. And not everyone is up to it. That is, up to up. But we are. Because we're in the business of up. Every day, Delta flies a quarter of a million people to 330 destinations worldwide while investing billions of dollars, improving everything from booking to baggage claim. We're raising the bar on flying. You could say we're upping up. And tomorrow, we will up it yet again. have a 17 to 3 lead after a momentum swing there in the at the end of the first half Marconi has thrown two touchdown passes tonight one to Donald Miller one to James Cooley there right before the half and they have the football to start the third quarter First and 10 of the 30, an empty backfield with five wide receivers. 4-2-5 look for the Maulers. And Marconi is going to drop to throw. Back to pass. Marconi down the middle, wide open. I mean, this is has to be a little uncomforting for the New York Knight defense. They're not making it very difficult on Minneapolis right now. And Marconi continues his perfect preseason. He has not thrown an interception in six quarters. First down and 10 at the Mahler, 41. Trips to the left-hand side. Marconi going to throw it down the middle. And Marconi's a little lucky there. Cooley targeted for the ninth time. Six receptions in the first half. It's going to bring up second down. And Gessner was there to defend the pass. That franchise won. Welcome to the chat. 
Second down, 10. 14-point lead for the Maulers on Mauler Radio on the SFL Network on Twitch. Short throw is caught and staying in bounds and putting out a stiff arm is Marcus Campbell for a Mauler first down. Getting that yak. Watch Campbell here. Stays in bounds and then puts a come on, man. Stiff arm on a night defender. Couldn't see who that was on second glance. Bandits APF 2K8. How's it going? First and 10 at the night 48 yard line. A 17 to 3 Mauler lead for CAG player Thomas Paternitti and Mauler owner. Deep pass caught inside the 25 to the 22. And that time it was Abarazzabo moving the chains for a first down. Marconi, I mean, he's just absolutely deadly. And these receivers, for most of the night, have not been wide open, but they have been open. And New York is off to a rough start here in the first 80 seconds of the third quarter. Cooley to the top of the screen. They're going to hand it off around the left-hand side. Pass the 10. Pass the 5. Down the 2 for a first down. Chambers doing what Hicks did last week to San Francisco. Making a name for himself as a non-star. First and goal, Minneapolis. And the wheels are starting to fall off here for the New York Knights. First down and goal to go from the two. Down. Two backs in the backfield with Marconi. 4-2-5 look for the night defense. Marconi calling up a different play at the line. Back to throw. It's a short actual backwards pass. And it lost two yards. Chambers the target. And we really haven't gotten to see much of Minneapolis in the red zone. They don't make a living here. And as a pass-heavy offense, it'll be interesting to see. How they can punch it in the end zone. And it didn't much matter. They answered those questions quickly. A touchdown pass to James Cooley. This is an easy pitch and catch and Isaac Holt, I just don't know what he's doing. Extra point for the Maulers is good, and it's 24 to 3. This is going to be a statement drive coming up here for the New York Knights. They need a score here on this possession to stop the bleeding. Mahler's kick it away, up by three touchdowns now from the eight-yard line. Knights on the return, and another big return for New York. A nice one there up to the 30. Charles had a big return to near midfield at the end of that first half. CasualDoggamers.com, an official partner of the Simulation Football League. Right now in... Week two of season 37. The best Xbox 360 online v online NFL All Pro League ever assembled. CasualDogGamers.com as Nathan Chambers picks up a first down and goes out of bounds with 10.17 to go. Also calling all YouTubers if you would be willing to advertise the SFL on your channel when you make videos. We would be willing to advertise you during all of our live broadcasts 
with a link to your YouTube channel and all of your All Pro Football 2K8 conversation. Hit us up at simulationfl at gmail.com for more details on how you can join our partnership family as Park Hee Chol picks up three to the night 45 yard line as the clock ticks under 10 minutes remaining in the third quarter. The Knights have not played a bad game. Neither team has a turnover. Second and six. And the Knights have moved the football, just not consistently enough as St. Clair swings it out to the outside, and that pass is out of bounds. Chambers, the intent of receiver, and we've seen a lot of that tonight out of New York. They just have not been knowledgeable of where their feet are on the sideline. And now New York's even going to challenge. The Knights are challenging. Whether the pass was caught, it counts. Wallers don't like it. Couldn't really get a good look at it because it was on the other side of the field. We're going to get a better look at it here. Or will we? Depends on if they say that he had possession with that first foot. Here's the call. After review, the pass has been ruled complete. The catch was made prior to going out of bounds. The Knights will not be charged with a timeout. Third down. So instead of third down and seven, Knights don't get charged with a timeout, but it's, well, it is a sizable gain, gets four, so that makes it a much easier third down to convert. Third down and three for New York. Everybody in the box for Minneapolis, eight of them. Legacy and Chambers split out wide. St. Clair will throw over the middle. Pass is caught by Studwell. And welcome to the game, Brock Studwell, the gold star tight end for New York. Shut out for most of this game. And Studwell finally makes a play. And I got to be honest with you, he had been kind of forgotten in this game until that play. First and 10 at the Mahler 42. Important drive here for the Knights. This pass again is thrown short, a four-yard pickup. That is Chambers out of bounds, brings up second and six. Knights aren't used to being down by 21. Haven't been down by this much in a long time. Enjoyed a tremendously successful season last year. Won the title game, 22-20 over San Francisco. Led most of the way in that one. Off on a counter goes to Heechul, and again, Park Heechul cannot get out of the backfield. Bryant with his fourth tackle, and it actually goes down as a loss of a yard to bring up third and seven. Third and six. Weather here tonight, 12 degrees, overcast and very cold. No snow in the forecast, but it has been a chilly one. And off to Heechul, and again, third and long. Heechul will be able to do nothing, and it's fourth down, and the drive stalls out again for the New York Knights. New York just has been a little bit too conservative tonight, and I'm being probably nice when I say a little bit as they will try to pin the Maulers back deep in their own territory once again. But the Knights just cannot get into scoring position as Lindstrom's punt is going to go into the end zone. Man, that is a bit of an unlucky bounce as Lindstrom almost pinned the Maulers for the third time inside their five. Instead, it will be a touchback. So third quarter, 7.40 to go. Mahler's looking for that final dagger. Two backs and two receivers behind Marconi under center. He will drop the throw. Marconi's in trouble for the first time tonight, and he goes down. A loss of four back to the 16-yard line. That was Lennox Fiegels, number 98, 
with the push up front, the big defensive tackle, and he just out muscles. That might have been Bill Curry, the legend lineman. Second down, 14 yards to go. Abaratsabo top of the screen. Donald Miller, the big fellas in the slot. Cooley is to the bottom of the screen, and Campbell is to the right of Marconi. Marconi back to throw, looking Campbell's direction. It is intercepted. The first interception of the preseason for Rocco Marconi. And the Knights are right back in business thanks to Morris Green, the non-star corner. Looking for Abaratsabo, and Green snags it. And the Maulers make their first mistake since Thomas Paternitti took this team over, and he chole 13 carries, 49 yards. It's been a bit of a difficult night for him. Can he get it going? The Maulers hope that he can't. He chole out of the backfield, and he will elude one defender and pick up three. A modest gain as New York continues to just plug their way down the field, which for the most part tonight hasn't worked. Big defensive possession there for New York. They get their first sack of the day and they force their first turnover of the day. A 4-3 formation, a handoff on a counter to, to each hole. Had a lot of space and then the gap quickly closed by Koma Kaleka, the free safety. A four yard gain and once again, the Knights are faced with a third down. They were 0 for 3 in the first quarter, and they have not been good on the down all day. In the red zone, third and three, a field goal would keep it a three-score game. So a touchdown would be preferred by New York. They're going to flip it out to Heat. Oh, and he's going to lose two yards. Jeb Gatlin is there to make the play, and New York... Might want to think about throwing on third down for the rest of the game. They're going to have to kick a field goal and continue to chip away at this deficit and rely on their defense, which has had a tough time with Morocco Marconi tonight prior to that last possession. The field goal from 37 yards is good. Twenty-seven to go in the third. It's an 18-point lead now for Minneapolis. From the 10-yard line. And the Maulers on the return up to the 30. Another big defensive stand for New York, at least to force a field goal. A touchdown would push the lead to four scores, and that would be... A very challenging comeback. The largest comeback in league history was mentioned last week because Marconi, uh, or actually it was in the uh, Honolulu-Cleveland game, a 20-point lead that Marconi and the Rollers blew last year as the Wyverns won that game. Marconi deep, has the receiver! What a throw to Cooley! Eight grabs for a buck 44 now, and this is a dime over the middle of the field. Marconi sipped this. I'm surprised Marco Silva grossly undercut the route. That looked like his play to make. And Rocco Marconi, even before anyone in this building could see that Cooley was open, found him two catches away from double figures. Penalty marker. Marconi's pass deep to the left hand side. Caught again by Cooley. The guy's a madman as we get the call. I believe it's on the Knights. It'll be declined. He has just been unstoppable. Neutral zone infraction. Number 90. Defense. The penalty. Is First down in the red zone. 
And these are not easy throws for Marconi. At the same time, though, Cooley is open. He's got no one around him when he's making these catches. First down at the night 17. Maulers have owned the second and third quarter. Hand off to Chambers. Chambers around the right-hand side. Two-yard gain to the 15. Minneapolis has had little success running the football. This team really doesn't want to run the football. Rocco Marconi's rating is climbing. 361 yards and three touchdowns, but he did have that interception, so no perfect quarterback rating for him tonight. Had over 500 yards last week. Three wide receivers, and Marconi drops to throw. Marconi's pass hit as he throw, and it is knocked down by D.J. McCoo, who came flying into the picture. Thought that was going to be another catch for Campbell. Coming right to left, and it brings up third down. Big third down here for the Maulers. You know they want the six, and they want the siren. Third and eight from the 15. Four wide receivers, three to the top of the formation. Short side right. Offside by New York. They're third of the game. Marconi in the back of the end zone. It's knocked away, but they're going to get another play out of it. Mistakes just killing New York's defense. Neutral zone infraction. Number 90, defense. <laughs> Third down three, Rocco Marconi, the best in the business at getting the defense to jump. And at home, it's even been a more lethal weapon. Third down and three at the 10. Three wide receivers, Marconi out of the shotgun. Five on the play clock. Marconi's got to get it away. Back to throw. Marconi down the middle and complete. A rare misfire. Abarazzabo, 10 targets, 9 catches. Marco Silva, they're on defense, fourth down. And New York catches a break. Ball fell to the feet of Silva. Might have had a chance to get that one. Field goal time for Minneapolis. Field goal is up and good. Ballers 27, Knights 6. Still a ball game as Minnesota can't put them away. 350 remaining, all three timeouts for either side. Tomorrow night, prior to the national championship game, come in and hang out with us for national championship game pregame as the San Francisco Bulldogs will travel to Cleveland to take on the Vipers in the jungle. The home opening debut for the SFL Cleveland franchise. 5 p.m. Central, 6 p.m. Eastern, special early kickoff on the SFL Network on Twitch. It'll be a quick turnaround for us. And Dan and Peter back at the SFL Studios. Busy weekend for them. First and 10 of the 26. No receivers, two backs in the backfield. It's going to be a handoff to E. Joel, who has found nothing of great length 56 yards on 16 carries today has not been a bad day for he Chole, but he just has not found the room on the outside to break free St. Clair to throw he goes short to Chambers that's the first down to the 39-yard line. Eight yards on the play. First down, Knights. Nice. 
First and 10 at the ninth 39 after the Chambers catch. Chambers has had a pretty good night tonight. Studwell still a bit quiet. Toss play out to Heacho, and Heacho again is bottled up in the backfield. And I believe I saw Jeb Gatlin there first. No gain, second and 10, maybe got a half a yard. Second down and 10, St. Clair back to pass. Swings it out to Heat Scholl, past the 40. Heat Scholl has just not been able to make this smaller secondary miss. Another big tackle by Mike Sudolovich. And you would think the Knights would be passing here if they run the ball on third and long again. Owner Eric Barkley might pull his hair out. Four wide receivers, trips to the far side right bottom of the screen. Heachel is in the backfield. St. Clair will throw. St. Clair with pressure in his face. He threw it way outside. And it's fourth down again for New York. They just cannot get it going consistently here this evening. They will punt it away. New York next week will host Honolulu. That's the final preseason game of this uh, Winter 15 slate. That's a Monday nighter, 6 p.m. Central, 7 p.m. in Buffalo. The Saturday night game next week, the Baltimore Crabs are back in action. They take on the Oklahoma City Renegades, who got a thrilling 35-30 win over the Orlando Intimidators. That by far has been the best game of this preseason. If you missed the game, you can head over to our YouTube channel at Slash Simulation FL and watch the whole thing in HD. First and 10 at the Minnesota 22. Four receivers. Marconi back to pass. Pass is caught. Pass the 30. Marcus Campbell first down before he's ridden out of bounds at the 34 as Marconi approaches 400 passing yards for the second straight preseason game. St. Clair has been held to just 119 passing yards tonight as the Maulers just absolutely confused the night defense there with that setup. Winding down on the third quarter here for Minneapolis, 27 to six. Empty backfield. Marconi to throw, has a man open again. Abaratsabo picks up six and he is pushed out of bounds. So Abaratsabo double digit receptions. The lead is only 21 for the Maulers, but you just get the sense that the New York Knights are just not going to get it going tonight. Second and three. Three wide receivers, two to the far side right. A 4-2-5 defense. Marconi to throw. Swings it outside to Chambers. He tries to get the corner. Stretched out for the first down. And uh, Isaac Holt brings him down. Third and in inches. A first down saving tackle. Two in the backfield, one wide receiver. And on third and inches, Minneapolis will run the ball, get a first down to midfield. Gain of six, McCoo with the tackle, only his third of the evening. And for a silver outside linebacker, that's not too good of a night. First and 10 of the 50, three wide receivers. The third quarter clock winding down. Knights need some sort of stop. Marconi going deep down the field. Caught! Gain of 29 to Abarazzo for another Mahler first down. 
just carving up the defense. Dropping the bucket right over Marco Silva. And that ends the third quarter. End of three for Minneapolis, night six. Ballers 27, Minneapolis still in control. We'll be back. This is Mahler Radio on 97.9 KMAL. Dropped off the ride, pushed on a pull, got our bearings, got blown away, checked the time, killed some time, nibbled, knives, next time, now. Found some culture, fresh new kicks, not so subtle, subtle hints, midlife crisis, fountain of youth, aged in reverse, spoiled our dinner, centered, splurged, went smooth, smoother, smoothest, got fast, got warmed, got benched, ate like kings, swam with sharks, took a stroll, made it sparkle, made some moves, sipped on a nightcap, sipped on one more. Who needs date night when there's date day? Mall of America. Always new. Starbucks gift card any day through January 5th for a chance to win Starbucks for life. Hello. You can go ahead and put your bag right here. Have a nice flight. Traveling feel like one big mystery. You're never quite sure what is coming your way. But when you've got an entire company who knows that the fewest cancellations and the most on-time flights are nothing if we can't get your things there too. It's no wonder more people choose Delta than any other airline. Mahler football on 97.9 K-Mall is brought to you by the Mall of America. Always new. By Starbucks. By Stella Artois. And by True Strength. Visit True Strength at OptimumNutrition.com. Start of the fourth quarter here from Minneapolis, and the Maulers are on the move. First and 10 of the night, 21. Three wide receivers, Marconi. A little double move. Cooley's got the corner and gets all the way to the two-yard line. First and goal. More dominance from James Cooley in this offense. Take a look at the stats at the end of the third quarter. 451 yards of offense for Minneapolis. They have just dominated this game, along with 23 first downs. As Marconi drops to throw, looks to the end zone, and a diving catch is made by Donald Miller. Touchdown, Maulers! Point for Minneapolis is good. It's 34 to 6. Ballers won their first game of the preseason, 48 to 10. 
And they are nearly to that point here tonight. Let's go back to those stats from th uh, through three quarters. And you see the two for 12 on third down. And that is a huge stat. The Knights' third down struggles tonight well documented. As New York returns it to the 27-yard line. So the defending champs have a humbling start to the preseason. Minneapolis has come in with their all-passing attack and have just run two teams over. He Chul has had a difficult night. Just cannot break free in the open field. Handoff goes to He Chul, and He Chul cannot get outside. There is Bradford Unsicker again. And this defense is Billy Joe Gatlin, who's been very quiet tonight, makes the tackle. His defense might want to give Unsicker the game ball tonight. Second down and eight. Knights struggling here in Minneapolis. The Maulers relocated from Grand Rapids in the offseason under new ownership. Hand off to Heachel up the middle and swarmed. Unsicker again. This guy is playing one of the best games of his career. I mean, he has really looked good tonight. Third down and nine at the New York 28. Two backs and two receivers, each on the backfield. It's a 4-3 look for the Mahler defense. St. Clair to throw. It's, he's throwing short of the marker, and Chambers steps out of bounds. Another failure on third down tonight for the New York Knights. It's fourth down. They'll punt. And that really has been the difference in this game. I mean... The fourth down plays for New York have just not been there. They are going to have to figure that out. Priority number one heading into the final week of the preseason, I would imagine. Oh, yeah, Hunter. I'm coming. I'm locking in. <laughs> Mauler's on the return. Temperature is... 12 degrees here tonight in Minneapolis. Cloudy skies, no snow. The Maulers have played hot, however. First and 10 at the Mauler 33. Trips to the top of the screen, and Marconi's going to come out throwing, and that pass is caught by Cooley. Bit of a late hit. And look at Cooley's night. 11 grabs for a buck 94 and two touchdowns. He has just been absolutely exceptional. He's six yards away from having back-to-back 200-yard -back games this preseason in Paternity's new offense. And he will also be a sexy pick in SFL Fantasy Football, which kicks off the regular season, which begins in 13 days. Watch out for the tutorial on how to play and how to play for free for, for uh, real prize money and real prizes in the SFL Play to Win Challenges. Third down and one, Isaac Holt on the tackle. Third and one. Ball at the 42 yard line. Third and one at the Mahler 42. And Marconi's pass down the middle is caught in between two defenders. James Cooley over 200 yards for a second straight game. And I believe Jake Legacy owns the record for passing or receiving yards in a season, and Cooley might break that this year if 
people can't figure out a way to stop him, and all New York wants to do is get out of Dodge at this point. First and ten at the New York 44. Back to throw. Marconi pass is caught. That is a wide open non-star tight end on the outside of the night. 28 yard line. First down again. That is Gibbs on the reception. And the Maulers might score again here. Three wide receiver set, two in the backfield. And Marconi drops to throw. That pass is caught. Gain of four to the 23. Abaratsabo now over 100 yards. Cooley pads to his total of 213. Second and five from the Knights. Next home game for Minneapolis is the first ever CAG Bowl in the SFL. Super Bowl Sunday, 1.30 p.m. Central. Game will be over well before the Super Bowl starts. You won't want to miss the epic matchup for the first time between two CAG owners in the SFL, Minneapolis and Baltimore. It is the Maulers' official home opener. And it's right here on 97.9 K Mall and on the SFL Network on Twitch. First and ten. And a run backwards by Chambers. He still somehow managed to get to the line of scrimmage. Second and ten. I don't know which win is more impressive. This one over the Knights or last week's over the Bulldogs. I would have to say it's probably the win over San Francisco, and I'll tell you why, even though New York, I mean, both teams made it to the championship game last year, and and the Maulers just lost their hands of them. But uh, New York tonight really hurt themselves more than San Francisco did, in my opinion, last week. Last week was just an absolute destruction an aerial assault and it's been that way tonight as well but you just get the sense that if New York could have converted some of those third downs and kept some drives moving uh, that they would have had a better shot here tonight but regardless as Marconi nearly threw a pick six that was Green who has the only turnover of this game and it's fourth down and the Maulers will have to kick it away and try for 40 another day Griffin will come in to attempt a field goal from the nine-yarder. McGee on the hold. Right hash mark, a 26-yard attempt, possibly 25. We'll see the official spot for the Maulers to put some more points up on the board. And the kick is good from 26. Busy night for the kicker, three for three on field goals. Minneapolis in nearly eight quarters has allowed just one touchdown. Keanu Tuyasasopo's long run. Yes, next week concludes the preseason. Baltimore hosts, or ba excuse me, Baltimore travels to Oklahoma City next Saturday at noon central, and then New York uh, will host Honolulu Monday night at six. Central. Sunday reserved for the conference championship games in the NFL. The regular season begins Saturday, January 24th. First time in league history that three MVPs will be on the field at same at the same time. All three MVP winners, Randall Watts for San Francisco, goes up against Joseph Redfeather, Pete Bruski, and the rest of the Oklahoma City Renegades. That game live from Oklahoma City as St. Clair swings it out short again to Chambers four-yard gain as he shoves Jeb Gatlin on the bench.
Also that week, Baltimore will take on New York. And Cleveland will take on Minneapolis. I believe those games are from Cleveland and New York, respectively, as the Knights will raise their championship banner. Second and six from the 30-yard line. St. Clair to throw. And again, swings it out short. And again, the pass just a little off target. And these receivers have just not been able to turn the corner, just continue to run out of bounds tonight. And St. Clair just has not been able to put a quick short ball on the money. Third down and three at the 33. Choll with 11 receptions tonight, but has not been able to break free. Maybe only once has he been able to. A counter on third down, and again on third down, the Mahler defense gets off the field. A loss of one. He chill a night to forget, and New York will have to punt it away again. This is one of the worst games I've ever seen New York play. It's so uncharacteristic of this team. The last time I saw their offense this poor was that upset that Grand Rapids had against New York. That game was in Grand Rapids last year when the Knights surprisingly were upset. And uh, it's something about this franchise that the Knights just have not been able to figure out whether it's Eric Walsh or Thomas Paternitti. Somewhere in Michigan, Eric Walsh is happy tonight, the former SFL owner. His Indianapolis Colts beat the Broncos this evening. Colts and Patriots, Packers and Seahawks. Who do you have in your Super Bowl? Three receivers, Marconi to pass, down the middle, it is intercepted. Second pick of the night, and Isaac Holt gets his first. And a quick change of possession as New York was sick and tired of watching Marconi trot down the field. Pass intended for Cooley, and Isaac Holt just cut it off. A pretty poorly thrown ball by Rocco there. The Italian stallion tripped up. So New York minus two in the turn or plus two in the turnover category and down 31. Brock Studwell has been a non-factor tonight, just one grab. And after we've we have seen Marcus Campbell, Tiberius Bovine, and Isaac Perez this preseason have some pretty solid outings. That's got to be a concern for the Knights. Pass is caught by Chambers, gain of four, and again Chambers runs out of real estate there on that left-hand side. Second down, six yards to go for St. Clair in New York. And a pressure in St. Clair's face. That might be the fourth sack for Minneapolis tonight as you can hear the beast in the background with the howl. Fisher with the sack. Third down, ten. Third and ten, St. Clair, a screen pass to each. Oh, he's got blockers out in front, and again, Mike Sudolovich is there to make the stop. Sudolovich has had one heck of a night tonight. I mean, he, for a bronze corner out on that island, he really has played a good ball game, and Nathan Chambers really hasn't worked him at all down the field as the Knights will stay out there to go for it. They need the 36 and a half, so it's more of a fourth and three and a half. They're going to run. No, play action. First time tonight we saw that, and it's going to be a turnover on downs as Minneapolis' pressure gets there again. Boy, West St. Clair has been beat up in this one. Looking for Chambers. He was covered. Just nowhere to go with the football. Down. 
First and ten from the 40. Dan Stevens, Peter O'Keefe coming up with your post-game highlights and stats. Come back for a quick wrap-up as Chambers takes a carry, no gain. Marco Silva on the tackle. Knights have to get better on third down. And they also might want to get a little bit more aggressive offensively. Marconi, 488 yards and four touchdowns tonight. He had over 506 in his first preseason effort. Still has four minutes to get over the 500 mark here this evening. They'll hand it off again on second and ten. It'll lose three yards. Douglas there to make the play. And the Maulers might just be trying to show New York a little bit of courtesy here in the late stages. Third down and 13, and the backups are in, so Marconi will not hit 500 yards. He finally comes out. New quarterback in for Minneapolis on third and long, and he's going to throw it. And it is going to be a catch, and it is going to be a turn of the corner, a broken tackle, and a first down. Donald Miller making the play, and Brian McGee comes into the game and moves the chains. And it's been that type of a night for the New York Knights. Donald Miller just shoves Salvador aside like he's a nobody. The fans will go home happy this evening. Minneapolis trying to run the clock out. Down to 12 on the play clock. Offside. McGee hands it off. That is the fourth time that the Knights have moved tonight. They also had a pass interference call. Neutral zone infraction. Number 90. Defense. Five yard penalty. Repeat. First down. First down and five yards to go for Minneapolis. They're going to win their second straight game by 30 points or more. The Baltimore Crabs also opened up the preseason 2-0 last year. We know the Crabs and the Maulers won't both go 8-8 eight eight or 8-0 eight as they play each other in week two. First and five, handoff around the end of Chambers. He got another first down. And I don't know how many they're up to now, but they had 23 at the end of the third quarter. The Maulers, they, they just might set an unofficial SFL record for first downs in a game tonight. We've reached the two minute warning. Let's pause 10 seconds for station identification. on and you're in beast mode. This is Mahler Football, 97.9 KMAL, Minneapolis. Two minutes remaining, first and 10 from the night, 29 yard line. We'll see if New York tries to burn any timeouts. Chambers on the run, they will start using those timeouts. It'll be second down and seven. New York exhausting all of their possibilities to win this game. And off to Chambers. Nobody on that right-hand side. Chambers picks up five and another timeout, New York. Third down, two.
Make sure if you already haven't done so to follow our channel so you can get email notifications when we go live on the air. Our schedule is on simulationfl.com, but everyone needs a little reminder once in a while. You won't want to miss a civil action here in Season 4. Chambers got a first down again, and the Knights are out of timeouts. And that'll be the last time they stop the clock. The Maulers are going to go 2-0 and this preseason. The Knights start at 0-1. Other undefeated teams this preseason. Baltimore is 1-0. Oklahoma City is 1-0. They play each other next week. Honolulu is 1-0. Cleveland, San Francisco, Orlando, and New York are winless to this point. First and 10 of the 16, and victory formation finally for the Minneapolis Maulers. The clock will tick down on another big night for James Cooley, who is proving to be the biggest off-season acquisition this season by arguably any team. Kevin Walker to Honolulu was big. But James Cooley has changed the game here in Minneapolis. And one more kneel down will do it for the Maulers. So four out of five preseason games in the SFL have been routes. The haves trying to separate themselves from the have-nots early, but as we all know, the regular season is a different ball game. As the Maulers take the final knee of this one, New York 6, Minneapolis 37 here tonight. A big night for the hometown fans. They got to see their team in action up close and personal for the first time. Dan and Peter have your post-game highlights and rundown coming up right around the corner. On the SFL Network on Twitch. We'll be back to recap here in a moment. Minneapolis wins by 31. And that will do it for tonight's game. The Maulers come out on top 37 to 6. With this one in the books, let's take a look back at some of the action. That was an exciting game. So let's not waste any time in getting to the highlights in our post-game show. Let's get started in this one early in the third quarter. Chambers on the carry here as they work the ground game, and this is a nice run. A 20-yard play that set up a home team touchdown. The Maulers moving ahead big and now lead by 21. Midway through the third, the ball at their own 17-yard line. Green was in the right place at the right time as his interception was a possible momentum shifter. After getting an interception, the Knights losing by 21. Brown comes on for the field goal try. Good spot, and this one is right through no sweat. They close in a little. They are now down by 18. The Maulers, still midway through the third quarter. Number five connected with his man on this one. That set up a 28-yard field goal. The Maulers winning 27 to six. Number five would find his target on this one. A 29-yard play that set up a home team touchdown. The Maulers move ahead by 28. Now early in the fourth quarter, ball at the 44. Gibbs had to work to find an opening, but he was able to haul this one in. That set up a 27-yard field goal. Midway through the fourth, the Maulers winning by 31. Number zero shows some great awareness here as he gets himself into position to pick this one off. 
The Mollins, late in the fourth quarter, number 84, had to work to find an opening, but he was able to haul this one in. Unfortunately, they could not capitalize on the play. And that's how we'll round this one out. The Maulers serve up a blowout, 37 to six. Okay, here's your 2K Sports player of the game. Number five, dominated the game like a true legend. Well, the name of the game for the quarterback is putting points on the board for his team, and he certainly was able to do that in this one. He found the end zone repeatedly.